Welcome to another Comfort 365 quick tip. This quick tip covers adjusting the airflow. The thermostat defaults to controlling the airflow automatically, but there may be times when you want more airflow to the living area or sleeping area. There are two ways to manually control your airflow. First, you can override the airflow for three hours. This works great if you just need to adjust the airflow for a short amount of time. Simply touch the area where airflow is displayed. The set point temperature disappears. You can now use the up or down key to increase the airflow to the space that you want. I'm going to direct more airflow to the downstairs because my family is all downstairs watching a movie so why waste energy conditioning the upstairs. The thermostat will return to the normal display. Notice that airflow percentage is now blinking. This indicates that the airflow is being controlled by the user. After three hours, the thermostat will change back to automatically controlling airflow. If you want to end the override before the three hours is up, simply touch the area where airflow is displayed and then touch the mode key. The thermostat will return to the normal display. Notice that airflow percentage is no longer blinking, indicating that the thermostat is back to automatically controlling the airflow. That is how to adjust your airflow for three hours. The second way of controlling airflow is by turning off automatic airflow control. When automatic airflow control is off, the thermostat no longer adjusts airflow automatically using temperatures in the living and sleeping space. Instead, the airflow is adjusted by the user. For newer versions of the thermostat, this option is available in the user menu. Older version thermostats also use the user menu to set this option, but the option needs to be enabled using the installer options. We'll cover this shortly. Touch the menu key and touch menu again to bypass the schedule. If AAC is displayed, you have a newer version thermostat. If AAC is not displayed and NAF is displayed, you have an older version. AAC or automatic airflow control defaults to on. To turn automatic airflow off, touch the down key, then touch enter. Notice that airflow percentage is blinking. One thing to note is if nighttime airflow control is on, the airflow will remain at your settings when the nighttime schedule starts. But the following morning, at the morning start time, the airflow reverts back to 100%. This is a prompt for you to evaluate your airflow needs for that day. That is how to turn off automatic airflow control in a newer version thermostat. For an older version thermostat, we need to do one additional step before getting into the user menu. We need to access the installer options by touching and holding the hidden key to the left of the fan key. Hold until option 01 is displayed. Press the next key until UAC off is displayed. This is option 16 in model C365 T11 or option 18 in models C365 T21 or C365 T21 WF. In older versions, UAC or user airflow control defaulted to off. We want to turn this option on to enable user airflow control. Use the up key to change off to on, then press enter. Now access the user option by touching the menu key and then touch menu again to skip the schedule option. AAC for automatic airflow control and on should be displayed. We want to turn automatic airflow control off, so use the down key to change on to off. The touch, then touch enter. Airflow percentage should be blinking. That is how to turn off automatic airflow control in an older version thermostat. Be sure to check out the other Comfort 365 quick tip videos on the Comfort365USA.com website.